Yeah, yeah, what's good? What's good? It's your boy Ill Flow Spitter, aka Cleve the Villain, coming out that H Town, Houston, Texas, Southwest, man. It's that closet TV where I bring you the news from the closet, as you can see right here. Cheer, 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 cheer. All right, let me step up into this thing. So, you know, I've been watching the Kwame versus Hassan, Kwame Brown versus Hassan Campbell situation going on. It's been festering up for days and days and days. It's been really going on for about a good week and a half, two weeks, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? So, uh, you know, I just been watching it, paying attention, and, you know, just seeing how I can break this thing down to see where, who went wrong, you know what I'm saying? In my eyes, I feel like, you know, like Kwame, he got a positive thing going on, but at the same time, I feel like, you know, um, something tells me that he being used by some, <clears throat> something tell me that he being used by somebody to do this. You know what I'm saying? Like, he was sent by someone to do what he's doing. You know what I mean? That's how I feel about that. You know what I'm saying? But what I don't like is when people on the internet say things about each other, and then somebody go flag their channel, or somebody go strike their channel, but you were sitting up there doing all this bumping, but then when you get up, when it get up under your skin, or when you feel some type of way, now you running to go flag somebody's channel, or you running to go strike somebody's channel down. You know what I'm saying? Straight up and down. It's just like in the hood. If you get into it with somebody, a nigga ain't about to be talking about, hey, man, I'm finna take you to court. No, a nigga gonna try to fight you, fool. Or shit, something else. You know what I'm saying? What I'm getting at is I'm hearing that Kwame Brown is letting things get up under the skin. And, you know what I'm saying? Looks like he trying to sue he trying to sue people. You know what I'm saying? What I don't understand is both of y'all are talking shit about each other. So why... Or are you talking about suing somebody? You know what I'm saying? Let's check it out. Let's check out what he said. Czar, maybe sue your wives because you talking a lot and about him and I'm in the news more than he's in the news right now. We're going to get into that later. Thank you, Hassan. You're a dummy. And... I might have to dig into your your finances because I need to see if all your money is tied up in your woman's name or your name. Cause boy, you put your foot in your mouth. You said that you got to dig into his finances. Well, that shit sound weird as hell and that shit sound police as hell and it sound weak as hell because you going back and forth with him. Dude try to apologize to you. You know what I'm saying? You didn't have to accept it, but you didn't have to be mean and rude and disrespectful and argumentative about it either of your reason why you're not going to accept his apology. You know what I'm saying? You didn't teach the youth how to forgive in that situation. You didn't teach the youth how to, you know, you know what? Even though I feel like this person is a total idiot or whatever you feel like he is or he's fake or he's a snake or whatever, you still carry yourself as an adult and you learn how to forgive and forget. Or you forget, but you don't forget. And you move around. But that's not what Kwame did. You don't gotta accept an apology that you think is fake and then keep on and then act like y'all friends and be fake with each other. Nah. But if you got somebody apologizing and you sit up there and then like you just cause a big ass argument, then what's the youth gonna say? Because we got a lot of people watching. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, that was my whole issue with that. So it's like, why are you talking about his wife? Like, you, you want to investigate his wives and all that stuff? That's, that's, that's crazy. I don't understand that. But I think you're a little bit smarter than that. I think you might have everything in one of them wives' names. So I think I might have to get a private investigator, find out who your wives are. Maybe sue your wives. Because you talking a lot for a man that don't go heels. And somebody need to tame that mouth of yours. And you don't want to fight, bitch boy. That's why you keep talking. I've already said I'm not getting in no ring like I'm a Roman gladiator when I'm not no motherfucking fighter. I don't get paid to fight, and I'm not going to get paid to fight now. I fight for the understanding. You disrespected me on many different levels, sir. And I don't want to get paid to beat your ass, and I don't want to donate it to charity. I don't want nobody to see what I'm going to do to you, boy. And I won't need a shooter at all for you. You just come meet me anywhere. I will go by myself to a place of your liking. We'll do it like a gentleman's honor. 
We can handshake on it. We can see it on the internet. I can record myself coming by myself. And then when me and you see each other, we just turn the cameras off. See, you for the show. You for... Now, you see what he said? That's all easier said than done. That's easier than said than done, man. You can say it, talk, 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 bump, and do all this bumping. But at, at, at the end of the day, is you really about that action? Is you really about that fight game? Yeah, put the guns down and pick the gloves up. See, this is what I like. See, I like what you're saying now. I like that part when it comes to not shooting, you know what I'm saying, and niggas is, is boxing and things like that. That's what I like to hear. You know what I'm saying? But the question is, is you really about that action? You know what I'm saying? Because we can set this thing up. Hey, man, holla at, that, holla at Queens Flip with the BLK Prime thing. You know what I'm saying? Got different platforms that, that will host niggas boxing, and, and, and y'all can get some money out of it. But I know you said you say you don't want to get no money up out of it. I get it. I get it. It's, 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 it's personal to you. But then are, is, is, is it the youth watching? What happened to the whole thing with the youth? I get it. It's personal. You want to beat him, you want to beat him up worse than you would do in the boxing ring, I guess. Okay, well, why not use this as an example to show how to forgive or to show that, okay, well, I don't like you. I don't want to forgive. I don't want to accept your apology. You know what I'm saying? But I do want to. I do want to fight you though in the ring, though. You know what I'm saying? Or it could be outside somewhere. It don't even got to be in the ring. But I think that if if y'all do do this, you know what I'm saying? It should be in the ring, and money should be generated so that kids and our youth can benefit off of it. If y'all do decide to fight, you know what I'm saying? We got J Prince Jim out here. You know what I'm saying? We got niggas in Dallas that be hosting fights. Shout out the whole lot of woods. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna holler at him and see if he if. Matter of fact, I might get him to contact y'all. I might get a whole lot of woods to contact Hassan or Kwame or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Because if niggas want to get it in, niggas can come box down here in Dallas. Out in Dallas or in Houston. You know what I'm saying? Straight up and down. I think that would be great. And the public would love it. The, the, the youth would love it. And y'all can get past this stuff. But you talking about suing is not the business, though, buddy. <laughs> that is not the business. Because if that's the case, everybody should be suing everybody on YouTube. With all the disrespect that's been said from Sinetta to all these different platforms. You know what I'm saying? And shout out to Sinetta. I like him. I watch him. But I just don't like how disrespectful he be at times, man. And then it just be seeming like he be using Hassan Campbell's name to get views. Because when he don't mention his name, his views be down here. When he mention Hassan, his views go up. Same thing with uh, Shaft, the 10 toes down nigga. You know what I'm saying? So, you know, um, it's crazy, man. Let me keep on going. <clears throat> Sitting there just running your fat ass mouth behind the camera. But if you was to meet me somewhere, you'll get the best exercise in your life, sir. <laughs> Are you see, like, well, how though? Well, Bitch ass. I, I mean, it's easy to say that. It's easy to say that, but do, can you really fight? It's really easy to say that. And then it's like, how athletic are you? In order for you to fight and to move around, you know what I'm saying, to stick and move and, you know what I'm saying, weave and, and dip and all that and punch. I mean, it's like, how. You have to be athletic to do that. And from the looks of things, you ain't too athletic, bro. I ain't gonna even lie to you, bro. Like, and from the looks of things, you, 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 you ain't too athletic. You know what I'm saying? Because if that was the case, if you was super athletic when you was falling, you would have been really good in the NBA. But you got embarrassed in the NBA. And I don't, even, I, I, I don't think it's funny. I don't think it's funny at all. I'm not cracking now. Smile right now. You know what I'm saying? Like, I, I, I don't think it's funny. I think it's terrible. I think it's bad. It's just bad. Like, why did that have to happen to you? Like, damn. You know what I'm saying? You come in the NBA. You're sitting up there. You're not scoring no buckets. You made seven points in 20 games, bro? <laughs> damn, dog. I mean, shit happens. It is what it is. But don't talk that fight talk if you really ain't athletic and you don't know how to fight that well. You were younger back then in your, in your prime, in your youth days. In your twenties and all that, you know what I'm saying. So it's like that's when that's that's when you really supposed to be super athletic and can move around and can do stuff. And you couldn't, you couldn't, even, you couldn't even catch the ball, bro. I seen nigga pass you the ball, bro, and it just slipped right like like out of your hand in a in, in a way that was so weird. You know what I'm saying? It was crazy, bro. Like just different plays I seen. I didn't even know about all this. It's crazy, fam. But if you couldn't ball on the basketball court like that, moving around and doing moves and dunks and layups and all kind of stuff, I see you airball a layup, man. It's, 
sad, fam. That's, I, I, that, I don't think I've ever seen a human being do that on the court. Like, I swear, like, air ball a layup? I don't know. I don't think I've seen that before. You know what I'm saying? So if you can't do that on the basketball court, what make you think that you can fight at the age you are now where you're not even as, you're not even as athletic as you were back then? You know what I'm saying? Because the older we get, the more, like, our bodies have wear and tear and stuff like that. You know what I'm saying? The older we get, the more wear and tear we get. You know what I'm saying? So it's not like the older you get, the younger you get. You know what I'm saying? So I don't know, bro. I don't see him beating up nobody, to be honest with you. You know what I'm saying? That's just my opinion, though. Nigga. I'm not about to yell back and forth over no goddamn computer screen like you do. I'm not going to be animated and try to look tough. All you got to do is show up. I don't have no shooters. I was a basketball player, you fucking dummy. <laughs> what the fuck? I don't have a hundred shooters. I have me. <laughs> I have me. And I can shoot pretty good myself. <laughs> I'm a country boy, remember? But you never gonna fuck with me, and you know it. And you're dumb. Because I'm gonna find out more about you. To be continued, bitch. So... So, how is this helping the youth once more? See, I'm going to break this down, y'all. Because there's people that's leaving fucked up comments in my section talking about, oh, you like Hassan or you support Hassan and all this stuff. Nah, nigga. You know what I'm saying? What it is is, you know what I'm saying? When I see people bullying motherfuckers, especially somebody who I be watching here and there, I watch Hassan camera. It is what it is. I don't care who don't like it. I smack blood out your face. I smack a, nigga, I smack a bone out your face with these Texas hands. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up, I don't give a fuck about none of you hoe ass niggas' opinions, nigga. A nigga ain't gonna tell me nothing in my face. Straight up, you know what I'm talking about? Now, talk, that's that's the nigga. That's trill talk, nigga, nigga. Nigga, that's trill talk, nigga. Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> niggas be leaving these hateful ass comments in my comment section. Keep, keep leaving them hoes. You know what I'm saying? I'm a motherfucking destroy you verbally, and I'm a block your hoe ass. Straight up. You know what I'm saying? But you, man, this shit, shit is crazy, though, dog. Niggas be leaving all these damn comments, you know what I'm saying? In the comment session. All these whole ass little comments. What was, I was going to say something. Hold on, let me see. I think it was pertaining to what he just said. Find out more about you. Yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's what I was going to say. You know what I'm saying? Talking about finding out more about you to be continued. How is that supposed to be helping the youth? So the youth is supposed to listen to you. And so, let's say a youngster was watching you, and he was about to forgive somebody. He might look at you and be like, man, fuck that. I ain't gonna forgive this whole ass nigga, dog. I'm watching Kwame Brown. Kwame ain't being forgiven. Kwame not leading the youth into the right path when it comes to social skills and communication skills. You talk about coding. What about communication skills? What about social skills? What about the mental illness that sits in the mind of a black man and a black woman? Our race has a mental illness and a lot of demonic forces that dictate how we even behave. Straight up, bro. But you talking about all this, oh, I'm for the youth and I'm for the development of the youth and the growth of the youth and all this stuff. But then you sit up and talk about you about to do research on somebody that sounds like some female type talk. That's what women do. You know what I'm saying? And then you talking about, you know, uh, 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 um, calling niggas bitches and hoes and all this stuff. But the youth is watching, though. So hey, I'm just saying. So for you idiots leaving these comments, the stuff I'm saying is real. The stuff I'm saying is positive. You understand what I'm saying? But a lot of you dudes on here are possessed with demons. Y'all are demonic, satanic evil spirited bastards man like real talk i'm talking about a lot of you cats that be watching and leaving little comments and stuff like that bro like if you don't know me right and i put together a video like this that's respectful didn't cuss at nobody didn't say nothing bad about nobody i just gave you my opinion then if you don't like my opinion and you want to get in the comment section why not be respectful and tell me how you feel about the video we're gonna have a conversation back and forth respectfully like grown men but what these people do they just automatically like just start leaving hateful comments and disrespectful comments because they don't got no filter. They moms and they dads ain't they ain't teach them nothing about respect. They don't worship God. They don't ask God for mercy because if you asking God for forgiveness every day and you worship God every day, you're not gonna sit up there and be typing stuff like that because your morals are gonna kick in. 
your morals are gonna kick in, the way you treat people, that all that stuff, your respect, your, your, you know, the uh, respect you have for yourself and for others, that's gonna kick in immediately. So you're not gonna leave those type of comments. So the people that's leaving these type of comments have that mental illness. The people that's leaving these type of comments are demonic devils, demonic people, period. And that's gonna get you cussed out and blocked. <laughs> Straight up, I don't give a damn. Straight up. Be continued, bitch. To be continued, bitch. But the youth is watching. Like, come on, bro. You for the youth, but you doing all this cussing and you talk about revenge and unforgiving, not not accepting an apology. All that is negative. I'm breaking it down. This is facts. Either the, Shout out to the, damn D the, the, POV. The, the righteous people are gonna feel me, and the people who are demonic and possessed with evil spirits are the ones that's not gonna feel what I'm saying. It is is what it is, nigga. You feel some type of way, nigga, come to the great state of Texas, my nigga, and come tell me how you feel. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Straight up, nigga, don't mess with Texas, ho. All right, man, part two, man. Let's let's dig in a little deeper. Shout out to everybody, first of all, man. Shout out to everybody for clicking this video. If you click this video and this is your first time watching the boy, you can spit out from the corner of my mouth. Hit the subscribe button, man. Hit the subscribe button and hit that like button, man, because everybody needs to see this video. I don't know... All right, I'm cool. I don't know what he's going to play. I think I'm good enough. And this material that I use on Kwame Brown, on Kwame Brown, is uh, for educational purposes only. That's it. This is not to slander. This is only for educational purposes only. Yeah. Yes, for fair use, educational purposes only. You know what I'm talking about? Squad minutes. Anyways, man, Mr. Kwame Brown, I don't know, man. You, you start to seem suspect by the day, man. Then you're going back and forth. You picked one. You pick. You don't want to talk about. <laughs> you don't want to go back and forth with Tommy Sotomayor. You know what I'm saying? Even though I don't really like him, he be, I, don't, I don't really like him. But you know, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to go back and forth with him because he gonna blast you. He gonna embarrass you. He gonna talk about you every day. You don't want to talk about MHB, most hated blogger from St. Louis. You don't want to talk about him. You know what I'm saying? Because he gonna get on your ass like boxer tags. I'm telling you, he gonna get on your ass like boxer tags, my nigga. You know what I'm saying? That's why you're afraid to hop on to uh, uh to, 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 to 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 get on MHB's live when he goes live. Yeah, we know why. We know why. We, we know why you don't bring him up too much. Cause when, when, it's crazy, fam. You want to jump in the fire because you feel like you can survive the fire and you can burn niggas through the fire. But then somebody else got a higher, more intensified fire, and you 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 don't want to jump in. You don't want to jump in? You don't want, you don't want to go back and forth with most hated blogger? Why? Why you don't want to sue him? <laughs> I'm just asking. Why you don't want to sue MHB? He make money off YouTube too. He get good numbers. <laughs> that nigga got 23 baby mamas, man. I don't know if he's going to be able to privately investigate all them. <laughs> I don't know if he's going to be able to do that. MHB got 23 baby mamas. This is what he say. I believe him too, cause he be adamant about it. <laughs> he be like, he says that a lot. So, shit, I believe him. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, you don't want to talk about MHB, cause you know he he gonna you know he gonna get on that ass like like boxer tags, nigga, squat business. You know what I'm saying? I know. Yeah, we know. <laughs> Anyways, man, this your boy Ill Flow Spinner, aka Cleve the Villain, coming out the H time, Houston, Texas, Southwest, man. It's that closet TV while bringing news to the closet. It's the platform will be exposed. The skeletons and niggas' closets, man. Cheer, 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 cheer. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Hey, man, I'll be honest with you, bro. Y'all really tempting me to put some bars together, dog. That shit is real tempting. I be busy as hell. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get on Kwame. I'm going to get on Shaft, Ten Toes Down. I'm going to get on Sardetta. You know what I'm saying? And I'm going to just, you know, break a few things down lyrically. It's not going to be like... Like disrespectful and hateful, cause that's not what my bars is about. My bars is to show you that I'm a lyricist. I'm cold with that pen and that pad, and I can listen. I can go toe to toe with anybody uh, lyrically. I can go toe to toe with anybody lyrically. If I feel like I want to put together something and, 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 and smash and mash the gas pedal, bro, you gonna see what I'm talking about, bro. It's gonna be fire. Every bit, every bar, straight up, and I'm gonna break it down and I'm gonna do some explaining up in this thing, bro. You know what I'm saying? Cause it's crazy, bro. You niggas, man. <laughs> Well, this YouTube world is wicked. <laughs> this YouTube world is no joke. Anyways, man, I think I said too much. I'm gone. Peace.